What's up, everybody? Welcome to Normieville. Well, we, we call you Normies. So you've seen this very tense situation, seemingly, that is uh, Joe Smith and his wife, Keisha Chavez. Now, to be honest with you, when I saw the video the first time, when I did my video about it, you know, yesterday, day before yesterday, I honestly thought it was a skit, but apparently it is not, okay? You saw the video, they're in the living room, he's talking about how it was messed up, and you know, he didn't tell me. They walk up the steps, they talk more in the bedroom, talking to, she says that you knew who I was when you met me, and you know, the whole thing with money and all that, I asked you to do things, you didn't come through, and all the sort, right? Some marriage issues, seemingly dealing with finances, okay? And you know Joe Smith's history, uh, all his teams, his financial issues with his with uh, real estate and divorce and you know houses and all of that, right? So he got some financial issues. He didn't really pan out very well post NBA, okay? And really, while he was in the NBA, to be to be to be honest. But now, uh, Keisha came out on TMZ and pretty much drug Joe Smith. Drug his name through the mud while at the same time saying, I hope he comes back. And I don't think our marriage is going to take a big hit because of my decision to help the family make money via OnlyFans. All right. But she talks about him bad in here, boy. I'm talking about, man, made me mad when I first watched it. But you see it right here from TMZ Sports. Joe Smith's wife. Hopeful OnlyFans doesn't tank marriage. Enemy spotted. I think he'll come around. Well, we will see. But as you will read in here, and I'll play a snippet of the video. It's like five minutes, but I'll play a few minutes, a few seconds of it. So you get the gist of how bad she airs him out to TMZ to the public. Let's go. Ex-NBA player Joe Smith's wife says their issues run much deeper than her OnlyFans career. Admitted they've also struggled with finances, mental health, and infidelity over the years, but she's confident she won't have to hire a divorce lawyer anytime soon. Keisha Chavez joined Harvey and Charles on TMZ Live to address the now viral video of the former number one overall pick finding out about her new not safe for work side hustle. And admits it's just the tip, the tip of the iceberg. Make more money, darling. As it turns out, the two have been together for nearly 13 years. Keisha says she was an established singer overseas before getting with Joe. And she thought their pairing had all the makings of a power couple, but it didn't go as planned. And she will say this in this video that she thought that somehow his a uh, cachet as an NBA player coupled with her, I guess, maybe singing career, however big or small it was. She thought that they would be able to parlay this into some money. She seems to be a hustler of sorts. And she thought that, you know, his star power or what she thought was star power, plus her maybe brains or whatever she was going to bring to the proverbial table was going to catapult them and make the money or at least keep them stable. However, this is not true. As you can see with the fallout, Keisha explains they fell in hard times. Joe was out of the league. And while she created several new money making opportunities, the co I'm sorry, the Project 19 pandemic left a major impact on their cash flow. Keisha believes Joe fell into depression after going from a top pick in the NBA to being jobless. And instead of taking matters into his own hands and creating a second career for himself, he did nothing. As a result, she resorted to do what she had to do, claiming it was a decision she made to improve their lives. Now, if you watch the video, she's going to allude to several things that he have has allegedly done or not done as a reason for joining OnlyFans, okay? Now, what I will say is, from personal experience, as a man, if you do nothing, eventually she will kick in and she's going to lose respect for you because she had to do it, especially if you're not, well, I would say specifically, if you're not doing anything about it or she doesn't see you moving in the right direction. And so maybe what her, she's doing is helping you. But if she literally has to take over, which is how she's explaining this, that she just kind of had to take the reins of the situation because he wasn't doing anything, all this is going to fall apart for sure. And 
She's saying that he was you no know, possibly unfaithful because she mentions a girl, a friend girl. She doesn't say necessarily he's cheating, but she mentions a woman that uh, revealed to him that she had an OnlyFans, right? And she's saying that maybe they were more than just friends or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, to be honest with you, if he, to, but to be fair to her too, if he got the NBA and he didn't do anything after his career to keep himself, you know, making money, keep himself in the, you know, the provider roles they like to say, or just, just a person for him to be able to maintain. If he didn't do anything afterwards, he just, you know, kind of sat on log and had his you no know, pity party of one. Well, then he's got some issues he has to address as well, just to be honest. But, eh, I'm sorry that he can't understand that. It wasn't a selfish decision, Keisha says. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision with my man wasn't taking the lead. Bitch, ain't no way. Ooh, man. Ain't no fucking way. I really love Joe. Keisha claims she had her account for more than a year, and Joe didn't find out about it until a friend that he's been entertaining brought it to his attention. She also says Joe got pissed after finding out about it. He's currently living elsewhere. Yes. She said in this day in this video that as of that viral moment he has left the house and moved out to i guess stay with somebody a friend or somebody relative whatever and last line of the article i don't want to be alone but you know if that's what it has to be that's what it has to be but i don't think we'll have a divorce i don't think so i think he'll come around as i said she's taking the reins of the situation now so he's either gonna have to come back with some vigor have a plan make some more money or because she's not going to stop at this point. She's all in. And you, she already just said in the video, you knew who I was when you met me. She says, you know, you're not doing anything. I asked for things. You didn't come through. So she's lost confidence that you're going to keep the family going. So she's already stepped into the in the position. She's not going to stop doing OnlyFans and all that stuff. So either you're going to, like I said in my other video, either you're, but I said in my last video, he's either going to have to swallow that pride and let her continue to do what she's doing while he's trying to come up on his own to make the pot bigger because she's not going to stop. Or he's going to have to go find a divorce lawyer. But let's watch a few snippets from the video because what I'm saying might not do it justice. Talk to us, TMZ. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, the video on that TMZ article was giving me a little trouble, but I found a video here on Twitter. TMZ Live. We're going to play this. Again, I will, I will only play a little bit of it because I don't want any copyright you know, infractions on the video or anything like that. But I just want you, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what she's talking about, if you will. So, uh, again, without further ado, Miss Shivas, tell, talk to us. Tell how you feel. The TMZ Live. Hi. I'm sorry. I just it's got a, a little emotional. Um, yeah. I, I guess the first question is, Where's how Joe? Are you, how are you Where, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, he's pretty pissed off with me. So he's been. Um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So. See all that water on the face? See all that? See all that? See all that water on the face? Did she splashed some money before she came on there. He's at uh, somebody's place right now. So uh, he's not here at the moment. Uh, uh, stop it. Yeah. Uh, so. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long How long is the account, have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram and my LinkedIn, but that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Shots fired, shots fired. So that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife. Now. I don't know if he looks at your Instagram page every day or checks your uh, links on your page or your LinkedIn or whatever, but if you knew he hadn't checked on it, is there no responsibility for you to 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 tell him and let him know that yes, you do have an Insta that you do have a, a, a OnlyFans? Bitch, ain't no way. I guess not. Ain't no fucking way. I guess not. Um, and you know he has a friend that. He's been entertaining, and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? Okay. Next question. She's insinuating that this woman that 
Joe might be doing something nefarious with this one. Well, he has a lady friend that happened to throw, try to throw a wrench into our relationship. I have a question. Say she didn't say anything. Say that, you know, this woman didn't uh, say anything or about the page. Would you have ever said anything, said anything to him about it, or would you have just allowed it to continue to be a secret? Think about it. I blew it from that. So why don't you kind of look? I mean, this is it, it's it's interesting and applies to most couples how and much what one person is allowed to do without informing the other. So why don't you kind of explain your point of view on? why you are able to do this and whether he knows or doesn't fine. know, yeah, it, it, that's his business. Well, I have on numerous, I mean, it's no secret Joe's financial issues, you know? So here she goes. So this, so this is where she started dragging him. His financial issues. Mm -hmm. And I have always made a good life for myself, you know? I'm going to stop right there. Because, again, it just goes further and further off the deep end. She continues to drag him after this. It is amazing. It's, uh, anyway, y'all see it. I will leave a link to this post and the article and the YouTube video in the description box. You can watch at your leisure on any platform. But you see what's going on, right? Uh, she is dragging him. And it's, uh, like I said, quite amazing. I don't think that she's going to stop. Again, she's taking the reins of the situation now. So he either, he's either going to have to swallow his you no know, pride, like I said, and allow him to con her to continue to do it while getting himself on track. Or she's uh, he's going to have to make a decision to let this marriage go. Either way, I mean, like I said, it's out there now. So he's got he's got to make a decision now. Uh, uh, it's going to be hard either way, I believe. But hey. It's a free country. He might go back. He might love her in spite of. I don't know. But it is what it is. Y'all see it, right? Thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me. I'm just a Normie here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this treacherous woman and maybe the dusty man. Down in the comment section, please, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell on your way out of the door, and I will see you on the next video.